and I'm 10 years old. Well, I'm using a show of hands. How many of you have ever been in a hard or negative situation? Well, that's a lot of you. Well, I certainly have, and I'm here today to share with you about my negative situation. But let me tell you my experience. One day, I was at gymnastics and there was no one there except for my team and I. The whole gym to ourselves, so we thought we could be a little silly. Actually, let me be honest here, we are being really silly. Like doing unsafe flips, talking when the teacher is talking, running around chasing each other. It was bad, completely unacceptable. My coach seems really mad because it was basically all the things she had previously told us not to do. So, as you might expect, we got a consequence. That consequence is to run the stairs. You might think that's not hard, but think about it this way. Some people have trouble walking up the stairs let her run, running the stairs without stopping. And there are 17 steps in a staircase and we have to run up the stairs five times. That's 85 steps in all. Seems hard, right? But it wasn't until I told myself to keep it positive. Well, at least it wasn't 100 stairs. When it's I start keeping positive, everything didn't seem so hard. It became easier, so I do it every time now. It doesn't cause gymnastics, it goes for anything that's hard or negative. So I think you should definitely try having it. I want to do some more research about keeping it positive, and I did. The first article I read says that People are most likely participating in activities, sports, and more if they have a growth mindset and if they're positive. The second article I read says that kids are most likely to succeed in school if they have a growth mindset and if they're positive. The last but not least, article I read said that if we don't have a growth mindset, meditating, having a gratitude journal, and diary can really help. But if you don't know what gratitude journal or diary is, a gratitude journal that is something what you write what you're grateful for, it. and a diary is someone something that write your feelings in. So I think you should definitely try having it. If you make a mistake, that doesn't mean you failed. It just means you look good. So get back up, try again, and tell yourself you can do it. It doesn't take two minutes to learn. It takes more than that. So, as you can see, having a growth mindset can really impact in your life. So, I think you should Definitely try having it. Thank you.